Hello and welcome to the video by Productivity Spot. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to use split text to columns feature in Google Sheets. Here I have full names of some of the superheroes and I'll show you how you can use split text to columns to split this into the first name and the last name. So to do that I would select these, go to the data tab here and click on split text to columns and as soon as I do that you can see it shows the separator dialog box. When I click on this part here, it shows me a drop down where I can select from these four pre specified options, which is comma, semicolon, period, and space, or I can create a custom separator or a delimiter. In this case, I would use space because that is what is the pattern here. The first name is followed by space and then the last name. So I would select space and as soon as I do this you can see that it will split these into the first name and last name where first name remains here and last name comes here. So you can quickly use a separator to separate text from cells into separate columns. Uh, just make sure that you have copy of the original data or original text in case you want to retain it because you can see here I had the original names but as soon as I used this it made it changed this it this was overwritten by the first name and the last name came here so in case you want to keep the original data set make a copy and then use split text to columns feature now let's see another example of using this here I have these uh, email IDs and I want to get the username and the domain name separately so to do that again let me first make a copy of this so I would copy this paste it here and when this is selected I would go to data split text to column and again here in separator I would select custom because I want to use at the rate sign as the separator here so that before that is the username and after that is the domain name so in custom I would simply type at the rate and see what happens as soon as I type that as soon as I type at the rate it will instantly split these into the username and the domain name. Now let's see another example. Here I have these URLs and these are a mixed bag. So I have just the URL which is www.example1.com or I can have the URL of a post or a page where it will be followed by say part two. So in this case to get the domain name, I just want to get the domain name, nothing else. I would select these, I would go to data, split text to column and here in custom I would use forward slash here so forward slash is the constant is the pattern here and I can use that to get this part here so I would use forward slash and see what happens instantly it gives me the domain name in column C let me come here and show you what has happened so here I had these URLs I have got the domain name all the domain names here I have got the extension which was the post name or the page name here and since forward slash was the separator this also gets separated now if you're thinking why is there uh, this blank in column B it's because there were two forward slash after HTTPS so which means that each separator would be would be considered as a separate delimiter or the separate separator and it will be processed differently so in this case uh, when I had two forward slash it would first use the first first forward slash to separate it then the second forward slash to separate it again let me show you what I mean by this I would show you something here so let's say I pick up these two names and let me type these here Bruce Wayne and Tony Stark but in case of Tony Stark I would introduce one more space character here so you can see there is a double space here now when I select these two I go to data split text to column and here when I select space you can see this is separated correctly there because there was only one space so I have Bruce here and Wayne here but since there were two space characters in Tony and Stark therefore it got separated and I got this column in between so make sure that your data do not does not have these extra uh, characters or extra separators if you have that these are consistent so for example in case of HTTPS it was consistent because every URL would have two forward slash but in this case since I had a space character in Bruce uh, and Wayne in between these two names but I had two uh, space characters in Tony and Stark this is the result I got so if you have such a data set I recommend you use the trim function to first make it consistent and then use split text to columns so that's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.